Welcome to Digital Magnates. You're with Christy and today you're going to learn how to place one of your winning designs over the top of a JPEG photo mock-up. If you are here because you've just purchased one of my mock-ups, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I wish you many sales moving forward. If you're interested to know a little bit about my shop and your looking for an affordable mock-up to help showcase your design and help you stand out amongst the competition i will leave the link to my magnate mock-up store below in the description so let's get into it guys to begin with we have a tote bag mock-up here that i'm going to use an, as an example today and this is one of my designs that i've created so let's take all this away the first step is you want to make sure that you have your mock-up downloaded onto your computer and if you've purchased from me you would have received a thank you email when you purchased and in that thank you email there will be a download link that will download the mock-up onto your computer or device. We are jumping into Canva after we have done that. This is Canva. We're going to have our blank canvas ready and to make sure that you've got the right sizing come up to this resize screen here and ideally a good I find a really uh, beautiful dimension for displaying on Etsy is 2700 by 2025 pixels and then you'll just hit the resize button if your dimensions aren't that already this is also a beautiful size for websites like Shopify which I have also had before and um, been very successful with and I find that just keeping all the mock-ups the same size and all your photos on a website the same size just gives it a beautiful feel of congruency where everything flows together and it just uh, allows your buyer to feel comfortable and to basically cruise through your site a little more seamlessly. So we have our mock-up here. We're going to click it onto our blank canvas. There's two ways you can uh, resize it. You can either drag the corners manually like this, or I prefer to just click it onto the screen, right click the mouse and set it as the background. Now we have our design and with your design you want to make sure you have also saved that already as a PNG to your computer and you're going to do the same thing that you just did with the mock-up you're going to find that saved PNG design that you've already created in Canva or created in whichever program you're using but you're then going to upload it back into here. So now you can see we've got the mock-up and we have the winning design. So we're just gonna click the design and this is when you can reposition it and resize it to how you see fit. Just make sure that when you're resizing it, it is going to look as close to the size that you think they will receive. For example, if I was to make this like this, but when they received the tote bag they've ordered, it was more like this. You might get some bad feedback saying, oh, the design's not as big as I thought it would be. So the next thing we're going to do is adjust the transparency of this design. Here is the button. It's at 100% transparency at the moment. So, the reason you want to adjust the transparency and I would say to something like 85 for this one would be most realistic is because if a customer is ordering something like a t-shirt or a tote bag, something that's made of fabric, the print is actually going to seep into the fabric. So the colors won't be as vibrant as this, as what they appear on your computer screen. And the reason it's good to just adjust it back to something that's more realistic is because again, you wanna get those four and five star reviews from customers. 
and if they're expecting to get something that is bright like this but they receive something that's more like this then they're going to leave a review that probably isn't four or five stars and say in the picture it looks so bright and pretty but when I received it it was faded and the thing is if you just display it in the way that they're probably going to receive it from the beginning if they see this as their first glance and then they receive that it's going to match their expectations and therefore they are likely to leave you a good review so once you're happy and you've got your image lined up over your mock-up in the way that you want it to I'm just clicking up and down arrows here by the way on the keyboard you can then share it download it I like to download it as a PNG sizing one you can download it as a JPEG as well if you like sizing one quality 100 if you're going to do it that way you're going to download that to your computer once this has downloaded onto the computer it will pop up over here for me so we'll just check that out and make sure that it's looking right and it is so a good mock-up goes a long way in selling your items and I will say this from experience once I sorted out some good mock-ups on the items that I was selling I got so much better results from it and I just highly recommend it if you found this video to be helpful for you and if you're interested in entrepreneurship and the online digital platform the e-commerce world print on demand if any of those things interest you I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel digital magnates because I am going to be giving you guys all the secrets that I have learnt along the way and you can work from home you can have this as a side hustle you can make it your full-time income I was able to do six figures in my first year and that was part-time from home with a baby and a toddler at home with me all the time I used to work on my shop at night time when they were sleeping and I have got so much enjoyment from this it's the fact that you can work something into your lifestyle instead of you having to work yourself into someone else's regimented hours and the fulfillment you get from creating things yourself it just can't be beaten in my opinion I just love this and I would so love this for you particularly if you're just starting out as well thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this video and I wish you many many sales moving forward and I hope to see you around for the next video